Hi guys, this is Varun from Root Studio. I'm a graphic designer based out of India, and uh, welcome to my channel. Today I have a very interesting uh, and easy tutorial on recreating this background that you must have seen on Apple's website. Huge shout out to Jerry Lee, who's the actual designer behind this this background. Let's jump into Illustrator and let's get started. So I took a screenshot of this this background from the website and uh, sampled some colors from this background that we are going to use we'll start by creating a rectangle something like this doesn't matter uh, what the size is initially let's maybe keep it to 50 keep it at 630 okay so we'll add a gradient to it sample these colors and put it into a gradient there's multiple ways to do this but uh, i'm going to use a gradient because it's not very resource hungry you can also do this with the help of blend tool i'll just show you like you can very easily create a blend double click on it if you do like this maybe 100 steps Click OK. This can work, but because we're going to copy things a lot and stretching things, so it will get heavy. So I will go into the way of making a gradient. So let's open up gradient swatches. And first of all, let's do it 90 degrees. And let's start sampling the colors. Press I on your keyboard to activate eyedropper. And let's pick this color. Let's pick up last color and then just keep adding colors. Fairly simple, nothing too complicated. I'll just delete this one. 600 is fine. Make it smaller for now, maybe 400. So if you want to quickly fix the gradient, and if you are not happy with it, you can press G on the keyboard and it will create this tops right here. So you don't have to edit it here. You can easily edit them here. So we'll, we'll make a copy of it and paste it in the background. You can do that by going to edit, copy and then paste it in back. And now I'm going to make this area, this top color and this bottom area of all it's the last color. First of all, I'll make it shorter and move it in the middle. Now what we have to do is we will remember this 50 pixels, scale it, press S on your keyboard and this will come here. Double click it to a non-uniform scale of vertically at about 130%. Click copy and move it. Do it more easily and more precisely. I would suggest you to turn on uh, smart guides right here. Okay, so it will guide you that and it will snap also. You should turn on snap to point. We'll repeat the same steps uh, approximately about five times because there are one, two, three, four and five lines. Press S on the keyboard, double click, do a non-uniform scale of about vertically 130%. Click copy and again move it. Half of it is already done. You'll see that this is not matching like to get the look this should fade into the background. We'll fix that in a moment. We'll mirror this portion on the other side, just like in the background, original background by Jerry. We will select this whole thing and we will reflect it. You can do this by right clicking and transform and reflect. Do a vertical, just move this to the other side. The only thing that's left now is to mix the background uh, so that all these lines are fading into the background like these are fading this is also but it's not fading right here we'll adjust the gradient stops select everything except this background shift to deselect this one and right click and Group this, select the background, copy and select this group and press Ctrl or Command F. We will create clipping mask. You can right click and select make clipping mask. 
that's your wallpaper ready right here you can easily change the colors you can go to edit edit colors and uh, recolor artwork you can easily change colors like this i really 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 like this one or you can do the old method also make a copy to edit edit colors recolor artwork advanced options and now you can manually choose select all the colors that you want to change here and the most amazing thing that i like is we'll go to adobe colors and i'll go to explore tab i'll screenshot uh, a color palette that i really like next i really like this one so what i'll do is i'll take a screenshot of this color palette and i'll paste here and with this selected go to edit edit colors recolor artwork and choose color theme picker just click this boom so that's it guys uh that's how you create this beautiful looking uh, wallpaper by jerry you please give him a follow please please like and uh, check out his work huge shout out to this guy that's it guys uh, that's it for today if you if you liked what we did today do do like and share and subscribe my youtube channel i'm already close to 6k let's let's get the ball rolling and uh, if you need any of my help you can you can check out my instagram you can dm me there or you can add me on discord the link will be on the screen until then i'll see you next time